a tourist went to Japan and he asked a painter to make him a cock. And the painter said, okay, come back in 30 years. I'll have your cock ready. 30 years to make a cock. It's just a drawing. Please do it for me. No, in 30 years you come back and you have it. So 30 years afterwards, the tourist went back to Japan, went to the painter and asked, so where is my, my, where is my cock? And the painter say, said, please wait, and took a piece of paper, his brush and his sommier, and did the cock. I said, oh, you made me wait for 30 years. Now I come here making three minutes. And the painter said, it took me 30 years to be able to do this cock I'm doing here. So, are you comfortable to take it or not? Uh, I'm Jacqueline Lerner. Artistic name is Jack Lerner. Uh, we are now at uh, Museu Tamayo. I have a very linear experience. Uh, I started drawing and making watercolors. I started discovering the drawing and the space and the materials. Then, at some point, quantity became an issue. This kind of materials that I've been using until today, which are materials that belong to everybody. So it was around 1985 when banknotes and business cards and plastic bags, ashtrays from airplanes, all these materials became the wheel of my car. <laughs> When I start working with someone, I have one thing in mind, let's say money. And then I start, let's say, collecting or acquiring the material. But suddenly I, I realize that the money is not only what we see, the piece of paper. It has, for instance, graffiti, anonymous graffiti on it, which is very rich. So each material becomes, a, deserves to become a piece. Toda la serie que hizo con el dinero en los años 80 es una serie que recoge el proceso inflacionario de la economía brasileña durante esa década. Como dice Jack, no es una obra sobre la economía, es la economía. I cannot say that economy is not present in my work, but it's not that I'm trying to represent economy. I present economy through banknotes, but it's not that I'm trying to speak about that. It's that itself. En el mismo hecho de que esta, esta moneda se devaluara y sufriera sucesivos cambios del cruzeiro al nuevo cruzeiro y después al cruzado en cuestión de tres años, eh, le permitió a ella también disponer de grandes cantidades de dinero que ya no valía nada para poder hacer su trabajo. Corpus Delicti started in the house of a friend. They were rehearsing and suddenly I saw an ashtray in the corner of that room, in the middle of that noisy, hardcore music. Instantly, it became a body of work in my head. I acquired all the material. I used to go to my travels and I used to speak to the attendants. Can you please give me ashtrays or blankets or glasses and forks and knives, sickness bags? and they would give me everything but the ashtrays. But they knew I was taking the ashtrays because it was the main material of the, of the work. So it was what I called corpus delicti, which means the evidence of the crime. The series called Names, which is a name that I'm not very fond of, there were the museum bags. So these museum bags were more special than the regular ones. This you know, was another group of works that became a series. También hizo una pieza especial para el museo, que es una pieza que ya ha repetido en varias ocasiones y que varía dependiendo del contexto donde se realiza, que es Um, labels o etiquetas o cédulas y la realizó con las cédulas de todas las obras en la colección del tamaño. Uh, it has 480 labels. Now it's 481 because this piece became a part of the collection. I just donated it to the museum. To 
today. For instance, here in Mexico, I went to the street where they have many, many hardware stores. I bought many, many different levels and I did a piece. I've been looking to levels for 30 years and I always thought they were amazingly beautiful because they are perfect, they have those horizontal shapes, they have those beautiful bright colors. And finally, after so many years and decades, I can make a piece absolutely devoted for them. They are the stars. Time is the key word of my work. Acquiring things through time imprints on them time. In the works, you can feel the presence of time. And as I take like 15, 20 years, 10 years to do something, this time becomes almost objectified. I must tell you, my only concern is art. Of course, there are many other subjects that are very important, like economy or politics or gender. These are very important issues and they deserve respect. When we attach art to these other subjects, I think they steal the strength from, from art. I'm quite sure that my only concern is art and dot. That's it.